smash you. I just didn't smash anything. I, I won that fight. I smashed you. Yeah, sure, sure. Baby arms. What? Baby. Laura, big child. Don't go. I am going. Again. What's up guys, Sam Man back with another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thor Ragnarok Diamond Toys Gallery Statue Hulk. Now, I've been, if you guys follow me, you guys know I've been wanting to pick this up for like a few months already. Finally went around to getting it. This guy is massive. The box on this is huge. Now, I personally, watching Thor Ragnarok the first time, I didn't think too much of the movie. Watching it two more times after, you know, it was released on Blu-ray, I love it. Thor Ragnarok and it's 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 probably my favorite Thor movie and I think a lot of it has to do with the Hulk. I love the Hulk in this movie. Now I'm not sure if they made a Thor to go with this but if the Diamond Select goes in scale with it I might pick up the, the Diamond Select Thor to go with this. So going into the packaging right here you have Gladiator Hulk right over here. You have an image of Hulk and Thor on the bottom there and then you got the A for the Avengers. You have an open window right there with pretty much the same uh, graphics and whatnot. Uh, right over here, you got a really nice open window so you can see the actual statue. <sighs> this is awesome. Come to the back, you can see a back shot of the character, or the side shot of the character. And then right over here has the actual image of the Gladiator Hulk and a little bit of a read up. So if you guys want to read that right there, feel free to pause. But that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a quick break and open this massive. what comes into the packaging you get this really cool ad that tells you about different products that are going to be coming out from diamond select so you know a few, few different pvc statues and uh some more stuff right over here in the back which is pretty cool so you make sure you guys check that out now as far as weapons go for the hulk you get the hammer that he uses in the movie this is really cool i like the detailing on this and i like the weathering the paint applications that they use it's really really cool and this doesn't weigh anything at all there's the handles right there. So you get this one right here, and you also get the act one, which I think is pretty cool. I like this one a lot. I think this one looks just great. And then you got the back right here. Now this part is a little bit sharp there at the end, but the ax is probably my favorite uh, weapon that you get out of the two. So you got these two right here. So let's go ahead and bring out the Hulk. All right, guys, so here we have the Gladiator Hulk outside of the packaging. Now, again, this is a PVC statue, so it has really no weight to it. It's not heavy at all, but it's, oh, geez, this is just a great piece. Now, taking a look at the base, you can see some of the debris and uh, little, just little stuff that they have on the uh, on the floor right there and some of the you know some of the the boulders and whatnot that he's stepping on and again the paint and the sculpting on the base look great i like that a lot just look at that and then here's the bottom shot of the base and then you have his big old foot right here and he's wearing his sandals looks like he might have a little bit of toenail fungus but the detailing on it again spot on with all the straps and the paint applications it just looks awesome here we'll look at the helmet you guys get a close up you got the little mohawk going on right there it's got two different colors you have his helmet which looks pretty cool and then you have the head sculpt you can see the head sculpt doesn't look too bad at all you got some of the paint that he has on his shoulders he's got a really really angry look right there i like the head sculpt the facial expression looks pretty good you got all the shoulder armor that he's wearing it's really huge shoulder armor and it goes all the way down the arm and then this is where you're going to put the uh, the weapon in. And then you come over here, you can see some of the straps over the body. But I do like the pose that he's in also. I think it just looks great. And you can see all the muscularity and then the green paint applications. And then you have the loincloth over here. It's a kind of a soft rubber material on there. And you can see like uh, like blue you know, inserted or blue mixed in right here underneath like all the armor and everything. He's got some spikes right over here too on the uh, on the lower arms. And then here's the front part of the loincloth, which looks pretty awesome. But uh, let's go ahead out. Now, well, I was actually what I was gonna say is, is the helmet removable? No, I think it would have been cool if it was though. But let's go ahead and set the camera down and we're gonna have him hold on to the weapons. Now, I'm not sure if there's a, you know, a certain way he's supposed to hold these, if there's a certain, you know, certain hand holds a certain weapon. 
but uh, I don't want to break this, so I'm hoping this guy slides right in. There we go. Ooh, you hear that? We're doing some damage here. So we got that piece there, and then we're gonna put this one right up here. All right, and there you go. There you have it. There is Hulk in all his glory. I mean, look how cool this guy looks, but I think you can actually mix it if you really wanted to. If you guys wanted to put, you know, this, this weapon right over here, I like how the axe looks there. I think this is just a beautiful Hulk. It's, you know, it's a great display piece. Um, again, I don't know if they're making a Thor to go with this guy. You guys can let me know in the comments below if they do have it. If not, again, I will pick up the, the Marvel Select version of Hulk from Thor Ragnarok to see, or I'm Thor, I'm sorry, to see how cool it would stand next to this. But I love what Diamond Select is doing with the gallery statues, much like what Kodobuki is doing with their statues. Diamond Select is also killing it, and they got a lot of cool stuff coming in the future. This is, again, this is a figure that's been a long time coming for me. I've been wanting to pick this up for quite a while. Finally glad to have it in my collection. I don't own too many Hulk collectibles, so I'm glad to have this one in my collection. Now, he doesn't come off of the base in case you guys were wondering if he does, but he doesn't. So if you guys want to pick this up, you guys can get this at BigBadToyStore.com. Just click in the link in the description. The backboard totally just fell off. Click in the link in the description if you guys want to pick this up. And if you guys want to see more reviews, let me know by giving, or you know what, just give the video a thumbs up. It'll help the channel out. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Peace.